back artistic failings 2022 now i did post a few videos for the beginning of the year but i consider this my first official video so first i want to say happy new year to you guys there's a few things that i want to explain some things that i want to tell you guys about my creative direction that i'm going in so please watch the whole video so first as you guys can see here i am beyond excited I got five gorgeous colors of DecoArt Americana Home Decor. And first, I'm just going to quickly tell you the colors I have. I'm going to open them up and show you guys what they look like. So it's somewhat of a review, but I will be doing an actual review of these paintings. And uh, then I'm going to show you guys what we're doing, the materials I'm using, and we're going to get going. So first, I have this gorgeous bronze, okay? And uh, the colors on the outside are very indicative of what the colors look like on the inside, which I will show you, so keep watching. I also have, look at this bright, rich copper. Absolutely stunning. Now, you guys who have been following me, the artistic family from the beginning, um, or maybe not even from the beginning, but for some time, you know that I use the majority of Artist Loft paints. I do use some DecoArt, America, or DecoArt Extreme Sheen and some of their other Americanas, but not their uh, Americana Decor Metallics. So these are gonna be a staple in my home now on a regular basis. So I'll be painting with these a lot and actually doing a lot of painting rather than fluid art. So this here is the gorgeous 24 karat gold. I've been using the Extreme Sheen. So I'm interested to see how much more shimmery and bright and vibrant this one is versus my other gold. And then again, I use a lot of silver. This is sterling silver, okay? And it's uh, a bit lighter in shade than my Artist Loft um, silver. And it's gorgeous, I can't wait to see this one as well. And then I've used white pearl several times, but never just pearl. And that's a gorgeous color as well. So what else I have here, guys, for this acrylic painting I'm doing with masking tape. Uh, is some glitter. Woohoo! Look at this, guys. We are raining glitz and glam. So I have some bronze glass glitter there. I have some gold. And then I have some silver. Love, love, love. I also have some Mod Podge, which is a sealer, a glue, and a finish. Be using this for the first time because I am embellishing this pour. And then I have some fine, gorgeous glitter, silver glitter, pearlescent. You see all those different colors there that look like gemstones, absolutely gorgeous. And then of course I have a sponge brush. I get them from Michaels. You can get them from the dollar store, but depending on what you're doing, you really want a good quality. Um, so I got these from Michaels, one's for my Mod Podge, and then I'm just using this one inch, they're both one inches, foam brush or sponge brush, whatever you want to call it, um, for my actual painting. And then of course I have some masking tape, which I've already outlined the canvas, which you'll see in a moment, and then my tape. So I'm going to go ahead guys, prep my surface all uh, ready, get it all ready, show you guys what the colors look like, and then we're going to get acrylic painting. All right, artistic family, so let me just show you. Now, I don't know how to explain this, but it's almost like sticky. Like I've used their Americana, DecoArt Americana Satin Enamel White for my pearl pours and cloud pours, but it just kind of has like a sticky, right? Like a sticky type of consistency. It's definitely thinner than the two paints. Okay, really pretty color. It almost smells. <laughs> Someone might think I'm crazy, but it like it really makes me. I really smell chocolate when I open it up. It could just be some subliminal thing because it does look so chocolatey and creamy, but very pretty. And I'm most excited about this. It's, it's so rich and vibrant. Okay, now you do got to stir these, okay? And for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you this. I will stir these really quickly um, before I stick them on the canvas, but look how rich and beautiful that color is stunning and then we have the gold you can see the oil there sitting on top so you do have to really stir okay and once i'm done with these i will take some saran wrap and put it over the top before i put the lid on it 
I find it helps keep it fresher and also I don't get all those crusties around the lid that make it hard to open. And again, very vibrant. It looks just like my Decorart Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold, but we'll see once that hits the canvas. And then again, I'm excited to see how the sterling silver is going to look as well. It's a different shade. Another beautiful color. And then the pearl, which again, like I said, looks a lot like champagne and the white pearl. So depending on the brand, very pretty, very pretty color. Okay, so the reason why I chose to do um, a geometric painting, which is what I'm doing today, if I haven't mentioned that to you guys, I'm doing a geometric painting with masking tape using a foam slash um, sponge brush. And because this is the first time I'm using this line of metallics by Decorate Americana, I am going to use them this way so I can see individually without them blending or anything what they look like together. Again, this is all learning. It allows me to know what paints I'm going to use when I paint and, and how I'm going to layer them or blend them together. So let me go show you. Let's get down on the canvas, guys, and uh, get going. I have the bronze here. I mixed them all up really well before I ended up... Um, coming back and putting them on. So I'm putting these on from Dark Delight and I'm starting here with just a little bit. I haven't used these before and I really don't want to overdo it with the paint. Okay. Going to pull the tape off once this is done guys and then what's left I'm going to paint in black and then I'm going to decide where I'm going to put our glitz and glam. There, guys, I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. And now, what I'm going to do, guys, as I said, there's going to be lots of layers to this, which is why I didn't mind it going through. So now I've just kind of blotted and I've added some more on. And you can see the layers, like even though it's the same color, you can see the buildup, right? From letting it dry, doing the blotting, and then going in and just adding some more paint and doing the blotting as well. And then that also covers up any parts of the canvas um, from the first layer. So this is completely dry and I, I know I showed you guys a bit of what this looked like but I wanted to show you now that it's completely dry. Um, it's a lot more vibrant now, you can see that and it, uh, with my lighting you can see um, really all of the layers and how that does give that textural look to it. Craft Smart paint pen and 
start filling in some of these and then I'll move these around once I'm done. And again, I'll come back to you guys before we start the glitter. So I did the same thing to the sides, that stucco kind of look. It's still, eh, still wet, okay? So I'll probably have to go over it just one more time just to catch a couple spots, but I wanted to keep that um, look. And I am just loving this, guys, and I can't wait to put the glitter on it. silver which looks great obviously it doesn't provide as much contrast as the black which is what I wanted and all the neutral metallics with black are just gorgeously stunning and I use them all the time so what I'm thinking that I'm going to do is add in one black square okay so I'm thinking that I might do this one over here and possibly this one here so maybe two of them so anyways for right now let's just go ahead Got my parchment paper under here. Let's just let it rain. This was a labor of love, guys. But she is absolutely stunning. So although my plans change, which oftentimes they do, but as I always say, when things don't always go your way or you change mid plan, sometimes that happens for a reason. And of course I did the same type of thing with the stucco look. Okay, this is just a tiny bit wet. Everything else is dry, 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 dry. And it's gorgeous. Look at that shimmer. Oh, look at that shimmer. Gorgeous. I can't wait to get some iridescent and pearlescent paints. I haven't tried any of those yet. So stay tuned guys. Lots of stuff. Resin, furniture, abstract painting, lots of glitz and glam. So until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next pour.